Hey guys, just doing a quick video review on the Lux Bell selfie ring light. First of all, a big thank you to Simple Tech for kindly providing me with a sample. As always, I have no affiliation to the company itself. So, with that being said and done, let's get on with the review. Um, so the selfie ring light itself, it's got uh, three different modes, so three different brightness options. Um, ultimately, it's designed for your Snapchatters, your Instagrammers, anyone who's really um, trying to improve the lighting when they're taking pictures or recording videos as well. Um, you might have seen them around. They're really popular with sort of um, young people who are Snapchat and Instagramming, social media blogging, that kind of stuff. Um, you've essentially got two different types. You've got your selfie ring lights or your uh, Lumi case, which is marketed towards um, the iPhone users as well. So the selfie ring light, it's a pretty simple design. It clips onto the top of your phone. Um, with this particular model, it's got 36 um, individual LEDs to um, help illuminate whatever it is that you're recording or snapchatting. Um, what I'll go ahead and do is, I've actually got this set up on my MacBook um, and I'll turn it on and I'll show you the three different brightness modes and hopefully you can um, <coughs> excuse me, use that video to uh, work out whether it's the right product for you. So the way it works is it's got a little button on the top and you can see as soon as I've turned it on, my face is a little bit brighter and that's on the first setting second setting and finally you should hopefully pick it up in the reflection of my glasses actually the third and final mode so you can see it's really bright um, really nice and illuminated and I've literally got it clipped onto the top of my Mac um, just uh, around my webcam and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll take it off now there you go and you can hopefully see if I turn that off there's a significant difference in <coughs> the level of <coughs> illumination so I'll turn it on and I'll show you the different modes so you've got your first mode which is there your second and your third um, with this particular device it makes a really weird um, buzzing noise it's not noticeable unless it's really really silent um, and it only makes the buzzing noise on the first two modes so I'm guessing it's one of the resistors or something inside limiting um, the level of power going to the LEDs it's not noticeable but I thought I'd point it out um, Essentially, the way it works is to clip it onto a mobile phone. You just grab a mobile phone like that. You've got spring, just like that. And all you would do is over the camera portion, and just like that. So you can see <coughs> if it's on my phone, I'm going to have it like that. There's a switch at the top. You press the switch, and you're good to go. So you turn it onto selfie mode. Um, and you you can take your Snapchats, your Instagram shots, your photos, your videos, all of that sort of stuff. Um, to actually power this particular device, it uses two A AAA batteries, and to do that, or well, to put them into the uh, device, all you do is lift off this section here, and you can put your two AAA batteries. Um, really nice and light, uh, fairly simple to use, really self-explanatory. Um, <coughs> it's quite. Um, small to fit into someone's handbag you couldn't really fit it in your pocket um, but if you chuck it in your handbag or a backpack or something like that you'll get it in there without um, too many issues it's uh, well built the plastic and stuff is quite thick and uh, I'll give you a good look at it as well so you can see it's nice and thick um, it feels like a quality product the spring doesn't feel too flimsy it's got a nice bit of grip to it and um, the nice thing about this as well is because it's gonna clip and grab hold of your expensive phones or your laptops what they have also done hopefully the camera can just pick up there they've put little silicon um, pads in there as well so it's going to have a nice soft grip um, and it's not going to scratch your uh, phone's uh, case or the back or the screen or anything like that so overall great little product um, to the ratings I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 so as always thanks for watching